Your music exclusive. I, I, I grew up like a savage. Up with, I was right at the part where I was going to ask you about that, the rush shit. Yeah. And I want to ask you about, so this this whole thing started with a bar. Yeah. Because I'm going to be honest, I, I feel like Russ is a sore loser. And this is my opinion. This, is, this has nothing to do with nobody. And the reason I say that is because he's uber successful, right, mm -hmm. in what he does. But he has to keep telling everyone for affirmations of, uh, and, and confirmation about what he got going on. And it's like, yeah. so the shit you said was so accurate. I didn't even catch the fucking bar until after the problem happened. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it, it was not a big deal. Yeah. So in, in that, I believe he reacted the way he reacted because he's sore or whatever he feels about just the industry in general. Mm -hmm. Overall, it has nothing to do with no particular person, right? And your bar kind of like hit a sore spot. So Indeed. this could have been, the other day I told my partner his t-shirt is just too big. Like in, like 40 minutes later, this nigga was like, well, no, what you mean, nigga? Like, like he tripped out, like, yeah. right? So, you know, sometimes you say shit and hit, you had no ill intentions. Like, mm -mm. that was like a I was, bar. I was talking about his position in hip hop because it's always been interesting how these people build their own worlds. And you never hear, because I had never heard a Russ song ever. Mm -hmm. And I, his position in rap was so interesting. I was just talking to, I think, uh, I was I was drunk the other day. But I'm pretty sure I was talking to Kyle about, uh, uh, about it. If that situation never happened with Russ, we probably would have ended up being partners. Y'all definitely would have did music together. Yeah, but he he decided to do some unforgivable shit. Yeah, yeah. And that and that's where that landed at. Yeah. He wanted to do that. Yeah. And I would never go back on that. But like, I I did think he was a bit of a dick. Yeah. You yeah, know. Yeah. But I didn't uh I didn't harbor no hate for that nigga. We probably would have uh got cool and been around yeah. like Russ could have really won if he would have just went about it differently yeah because it's not like he got points for jumping guap that nah, you know what nah, i'm saying he didn't get points and he didn't get points for a sucker punch he didn't get points for none of it and he definitely didn't get points in my book because i'm looking at it from your perspective and you saying all right, let's just shoot the fair one yeah. later on. Fuck it. We can get this out the way. I'm like, I just want to fight you. Yeah, I don't. yeah. And I, that's something probably ain't never going to happen because it, it's nigga, it's the bar. Right, like, right. Like, where are you at? Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's, right. Ba it's back to the reality. Right. Um, But that's where I sit with it now, man. I don't, I don't harbor no hate for nobody, especially where I'm at in my life. I just don't take it to, uh, I don't want to take it have it on my spirit yeah you shouldn't you know if i do see him probably yeah, yeah he could, but he but, should give you a fair one. um he probably won't though so but, I, but i'm but i gotta just living in reality and now it's just like I'm, 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 I'm not i'm not happy about what happened but i know you're a strong enough individual spiritually physically and mentally to take a sucker punch right for yeah. one on camera i know that you're strong enough to take that so not that it good it happened to you, but better, you know, like, because I'm going to be honest, like, he just don't know this, and God bless his soul, if your folks was there, like, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, that, I'm not. That was the only thing really comforting me throughout the whole situation was, yeah. I honestly knew I just got caught slipping for real. Man, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm going to keep it real with you. I'm just, I'm happy for hip hop, yeah. like that. Your people wasn't there. Because that's not even what you represent at all. Oh no, my music. career would have been ruined. This nigga family would have sued us. Over, murder like, charges. yeah, it would have been ugly. So, so that's I know that. Like, yeah. so I'm I'm thinking in my mind, like, yeah, like, you know, like, like, you know how the cosmos work and how like certain shit happen, like it happens, yeah. and like another motherfucker, like, because he's been into it with several other people, like somebody else wouldn't have been able to take that situation, like, you know, what I'm saying the way you did, like, it wasn't even a. You know how if I'm so gangster every day, like if that if that happens to me, yeah. like I don't really have bounce back in my career. But because you are the person that don't represent that, but life really is that, I believe that's why that happened. Yeah. So does in the future does that pre prevent you from putting other people in bars? 
No. In the same type of manner, same type of way, you, you do it all again. Yep, because I still st stood on what I said. I'm mad that, he, uh, that it, it ended up like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry to say, but I'm a grown-ass man, man. Yeah. I, I, I stand on my word, especially when it comes to my art. Yeah. Um. I just, I, I do, it's on some wishful thinking, I hope that, uh, anybody that I do bring up or try to make a reference to realizes that I'm never trying to be overtly disrespectful. Right, right. But if right. you want to talk about the game, other rappers bring up other rappers and they position in it all the time. You know, one of the biggest examples of that, and I, I'm not sure if you remember it, or if you was even fucking born, and you had to be born, but fucking Cannabis and LL Cool J did yeah. a song. You know about that, right? Yeah. So all he says was, LL, is that a mic on your arm? Let me borrow that. Like, yeah. L bugs the fuck out. Like, yeah, he didn't this like shit that turns shit. into a whole fucking, it turned into some shit. Like, but he really didn't say shit. Like, Ew. you know what I'm saying? And so, like, it, you know, it, it happens. Like, and you know, it, it could just happen to motherfuckers on the wrong. I just think with, 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 and I'm making assumptions. Don't get me wrong, but I just believe with somebody like Russ, he's sweated so much for complaining. Like, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers yeah. like, bruh, enough. Like, so he probably felt the way. Um, another standout moment in your career is flossing in the video, mm -hmm. right? I watched somebody, I watched your mama reaction video. Yeah. Hilarious. That was the funniest shit. Hilarious. Ever, right? <laughs> Hilarious. And I showed, was I, was Sam, was that your idea to do that? That was, that was, a, that was, a, people love that video. But you always naked. My nigga, you just did something else. You was in the fucking chamber thing and you fucking, I'm yeah. like, this nigga is a fucking I've been, a I'm, voyeurism I'm on, I'm on my <laughs> Mariah Carey shit. <laughs> I'm a nudist too. Just like, uh, I'm, try, I'm trying to be naked in every video. So that was Sam's idea. So, yeah. so, and I heard the process of getting the young ladies and shit. And, um, but nigga, everybody talk about you getting head in the video. I'm like, this nigga ghost riding skills is amazing. <laughs> Come on. When I whipped that out, the whole crew wasn't ready for that. Nobody's Bruh, ready for it. I this said, nigga moonwalking back. They don't know how I'm fucking with it. <laughs> they don't know how I'm fucking with it. Hey, you was fucking with it. Like, okay, I'm like, it's one big shocking thing that, okay, this nigga getting some top, right? I got to bring that back. We got to bring back the Ghost Ride Moonwalking. In you have movie. to. I, I started reading. I might, I might do that. I, read, <laughs> I looked at the comments recently, right, when I was on my way down here, and that's something somebody said. Like, y'all talking all that shit, bro. But this nigga moonwalked <laughs> out the whip, bro. Yeah. Like, and you floated. Yeah. Like, you didn't, you didn't touch the ground. <laughs> At all. I thought it was a trick, so I'm looking in the car like, who the yeah. fuck got the steering wheel? What is he doing? No, I was steering that motherfucker. I'm sliding down, down. Man. Like, <laughs> hey, y'all, hey, you was fucking with it on that shit. And so, I I, I heard that the, the, the girl from the video do porn now. Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I heard she was a porn she star was, now. She was already getting into it. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, she was already getting into it. She looked like she had a great time. Yeah, no, I had a blast with yeah. them two young ladies. <laughs> and, and that was really like a, ca a casting call. Yeah, literally. Pull up and suck a nigga dick. That is crazy. Yeah. How, how far is Guap Dad away? Because I know it's coming. How far are you away from a reality show? Um, I'm actually farther than you think because I've recently decided to say no to a lot. It needs to be on VH1 yeah. and it needs to be very messy. Like flavor, <laughs> flavor of love. It needs to be like. See, that's the thing. I'm. I. I want to do that. Yeah. I want. I do want to have a reality, TV moment, but I want it to be after, some shit. Like, I'm still. I'm still on some shit, and right now I just had a moment on reality TV that ensued so much drama. Okay. That shit. Yeah, man, it made my dick shrivel up. <laughs> I'm like I, I I just I was I wasn't even horny for like yeah. I'm like man this shit boozy as hell. But That's it has crazy. its ups and downs though. Yeah, so yeah. I don't it's no like absolute disrespect to reality TV because I I want to be in it later on just because I know what type of personality I right. am. Right, people so need to see you more than be, just being a rapper. I'm gonna be a meme everywhere. And also your 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 interviewing skills is impeccable. Thank you. Like. 
you should do more of that. Like, just because, like, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, like, I love to see, also, like, Vince Staples do shit like that and talk. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, like, the same kind of mind. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, I love Vince. Yeah, it's like, what makes sense makes sense and what don't, don't. Why are you guys overcomplicating things? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think I think that a reality show from Guap Dad would fucking be through the, that shit would go through the roof. Now, uh, now, the, also, that song itself, Flossin'. I seen you say this before. The nigga who made the beat finammed you. Mm-hmm. James Delgado. Oh no, he didn't finam you because you can't be finammed. He got they got he like finessed close. Yeah. He finessed. He, he finessed. He, he, but he finessed me for sure. This motherfucker watched DIY videos on yeah. the way to the studio. Yeah. That is the hardest shit ever, bro. Yeah, I ever heard in my life. He is a fucking fool, bro. Like like what's he and ended up ending up producing half my kids. <laughs> that's, that's fucking nuts. <laughs> that nigga's a wiggler. He is wiggled. he in LA? Uh I don't know if he's out here right now. Oh, okay. But he's from LA. Nuh uh, he from Manteca. Oh, he's from Manteca? Yeah. He a he's beast. Got his family from Hayward. He a beast, man. He a he a fool, man. I thought that was he didn't even know how to work the fucking Pro Tools and just learn. Yeah. But he knew how to make beats. Mm hmm What did he make the beats on? FL. Studio. That I think that's one of the greatest inventions ever. By the way, mm -hmm. like special, like I, I I made beats, nigga. I'm like these blocks. That's all I got to do. Yeah, yeah, like it's step sequencing is very easy to understand. But I but I got stuck on quantizing. Yeah, I was like, what what is that? Mean? Yeah, I didn't understand that part. Now, now you got all this shit going. You coming, you coming, you dropping all this shit. But the thing. When I think you hit the threshold and went over, is Gucci pajamas. Gucci pajamas was a crazy moment. 